Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 Lith H18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SVG that some people know as Fifi La Pew Pew. Um, others know it as a Lethe or a Leaf Blower. This one's located on the Eastbourne of Berlin and it's under the command of Bulbus of Olymp. Game on. Well, you can see his teammate in the fellow RT is a bishop. So they've got similar fire rates and similar accuracy. Although Bulbus has got a much better firing range, he can fire over most of the battlefield. Whereas that bishop, well, he's kind of limited. He has to get really close to the enemy if he wants to hit them. Okay, this is a good firing position. We've got the protection of the, uh, the hedges. And uh, so it's difficult for the enemy to see you as they get close and he's gone straight to the aim and he's actually having a quick look to see if any enemy heavy tanks go into the confrontation area nothing yet way down to the south he's noticed a wolverine tries a speculative shot long range and an enemy heavy has turned up in the uh, confrontation area Rounds out, direct hit with his first shot, gets 137 hit points. He tracked the guy and he's getting some damage assist. And I think we now know where the enemy RT is. He's actually in a direct opposite position to our position at the moment. So he must be in C1 or B1. He's got a 105mm light field howitzer, capable of doing 410 alpha and penetrating 53mm of armor. He just got a penetrating, well, not a penetrating shot, but a Damaging shot that pans of fear. And a second one there. Okay, we've got a T1 heavy. That's a difficult shot because he's got to fire it over the rubble. Rounds out. Oh no, it hit the rubble. RNG was unkind on that occasion. He gives it another go though. Oh, and that one hit the target. So he definitely did get some damage. Okay, BDR G1B. Rounds out. Ooh, good hit and a penetrating shot 359 and the BDR's down I know it's a penetrating shot because he's got 359 and that's a low roll on a penetrator okay the Excelsior's been hit again he fires one more in doesn't get that one thinks about the T1 but he notices this Chaffee and the guy's over by the bridge and we haven't really got anybody over there to counter him at the moment Okay, we're dialing in on the KV-1. Shot, rounds out, goes to the right. Now he is loading 10 rounds of heat, and that can be particularly effective against the KV-1. It's got uh, a lot more penetration than the standard HE. These ones can do 104 millimeters of armor and 350 alpha. So they could go through the front, frontal armor of the KV-1. Again, RNG is not kind, and the shell goes to the right. I think he's keeping eyes on that Chaffee, because he's not happy. He thinks that Chaffee might be about to come racing over the bridge towards him. And he's probably not wrong. He looks to the south, found some VK, VK-3001H. Oh, two of them. Two VK-3001Hs. He's dialing in on this guy. Takes a long while to dial in, get it accurate. That's a good shot. And he got a fire as well. He lit the guy up. Fires another quick shot, but he's turning around because he suddenly noticed the Chaffee's on the way in and it's coming straight for him. So he's going to have to get a good shot in if he can. Lines him up, tracks the target, rounds out. Oh, brutal shot. Excellent. Took the Chaffee out with a penetrating round and got 451 hit points. He must have felt that one. That's not going to wear out in the morning. He's going to have to do a bit of um, mechanical work to get it back up. Okay, he's trying to get this KV-1. Couldn't get the aim to go down there. Okay, he's looking towards the enemy down to the south. Got a VK-301H again. It's a different one from the one he fired at before. Oh, and that was the heat round, went into the ground. Okay, the enemy VK he fired at before just got wiped out. 
He's trying to line up a shot in the HE round. Oh, what he... It looked like that one tracked the vehicle. And he's now lining up another shot to try and get a hit. RNG says no again and puts the shell to the left. But there's another VK there. So he fires at that one instead. And again, he pulls away. Round out. It's difficult when the target's moving. He's a long way away. It can be difficult to get a shot on target. That one works. Direct hit and the penetration for 397. Now, Bobbles' reload time is 7.85, but the book reload time is 8.92. So he has knocked a fair bit off the actual aiming, but he's working as hard as he can to try and find as many enemy targets to shoot at. Now, I think he fired blind there to try and get at the enemy there's an enemy bishop and also an enemy Fifi in the game, but he's just spotted the SU-85 on the enemy team down to the south. Fires around at him, but then looks away because the bishop suddenly comes into view. He's just taking aim. Okay, he's pulling behind that wall, which makes him an easy target for us now. Rounds out. Just misses him. He must be aware now that he's being shot at. We can't shoot the enemy Fifi. We're outside range at the moment. He's getting closer. Just needs to get close enough to actually do the job. There's the bishop. Our guy's coming up in front of him. That's going to be dangerous. The Stug drives up alongside. Gets shotgun. The bishop pulls back. Oh, lovely shot. Now one more and you'll finish that guy off. He kills our Stug. But we fire around in, and yes, that's it. He kills the bishop. That's his third kill of the game. Can't get a shot on the Wolverine at the moment because he's hiding behind that wall. No other targets in sight for the moment. There's only three enemy tank destroyers out there. He's found one of them, the M10 RBFM, and he's dialing in as quickly as he can. He doesn't want to fire snap because that doesn't work. Rounds out. This is an accurate shot. Direct hit. Penetration round. 409. You can see the shell went inside the turret. He fired another snap, but I think he knows his teammates are going to go after that guy if he doesn't get him. Just saw an enemy tracer from an enemy uh, PP fire close to us. He fires snap. That doesn't work. He's trying to dial in and get the M10, but... Our teammates in the T-67 gets there before us. The enemy Stug's been found. Rounds out. Bit snap, but it does hit the engine deck and he gets the, the kill goes in directly afterwards. So he got the track damage as well. So there's only one enemy left. It's the enemy Fifi. And we can see that he's been doing a lot of damage as well because he's got three kills already. But Bulbus needs to get to a position so he can actually shoot at that guy. And at the moment, he's got all these buildings in the way. So he has to move closer and get around them. And the enemy Fifi's inside. Okay. He fires accidentally. He's now in reload. But he's letting the aim dial in. Okay. Can he get this target? Rounds out. He comes off aim. I think he did that accidentally. He didn't mean to do it. The enemy Fifi just killed another of our teammates. So can you get this one on target? Lines it up, rounds out. Just misses him with a heat round. Come on, one shot. One shot. Rounds out. Oh, again it lands in front. He only needs one more. And unfortunately, the VK301H takes the kill. And that is the end of the game. And a brilliant game for Bulbas. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was the first ace tanker game for Bulbas of Olymp. You can tell it's the first ace because he's got the scrolls underneath. You only get that the first time. So congratulations, you've broken your duck on the Fifi. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 19 in that one. 
as well as a gorse medal for doing more damage than eight times the hit points of his own vehicle, a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game, and a confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. His win rate was 9,168, which is super unicum and a lot more. So very well done indeed. In fact, if you want to see all the tanks, you have to scroll the page. Yes, there's that many. Let's have a look at team score. Well, the highest damage was 3,382 hit points to Bulbous. The second highest damage actually went to the enemy Fifi. Yes, he got 2,467. And the third highest damage, well, that went to the Panzer KV-1, or KW-1, I should say here, who managed 1,795. When it came to kills, it was actually the enemy Fifi who got the best because he killed one more enemy, or one more of our teammates, before we managed to, before he died. So he got four kills, and Bulbas got three, so did the K, uh, Panzer KW-1, the VK-301H. And in third place, we've got the T-34 Shielded with two kills, and he was the only one who got two in the game. When it came to base XP, though, it's Bulbas who got the highest amount, so he got two out of three. He got the highest damage and the highest base XP, 1,357, which is a reasonably good ace tanker. 1,034 went to the Panzer KW-1. And the next highest player after that turned out to be the enemy Fifi, who got 682. So very good score when it comes to base XP for a Fifi. He fired 38 rounds in the game, 16 direct hits on the enemy and five penetrations. Well, I'm pretty no sure I know which ones he penetrated. He definitely penetrated the Chaffee. That guy was going full speed towards him and, and actually did see him just after he got shot at. Um, so his sixth sense went off, but the enemy arty just couldn't get a shot at him because he was too far away. But the Chaffee was definitely penetrated, a one-shot kill. The second one, well, he penetrated that bishop. The shell came in from on top, took out the uh, the casement of the bishop, the, the shielding around the gun, and he was gone. And he did get a penetrating shot on that M10 RBFM as well. 409 hit points of that one. That shell actually went inside the cockpit. You can actually see the hole. It was actually in the turret walls. So the shell went in, wiped out the crew. And I think he did penetrate some other tanks. So he penetrated the BGRG-1B. Yes, we saw that one for sure. Um, and he also penetrated the VK-301H because he got 397. I think that was the shell that actually just landed right on top of the guy and completely annihilated him. So very good shot indeed. Let's go back to detail. He also managed to get 19 splashes on the enemy as well, 3,382 hit points of damage, of which 2,931 were at more than 300 meters. The close difference was, of course, that Chaffee, who, if uh, Bulbas had not got an accurate shot on, um, then he might have actually tried to take Bulbas out. So good, good job that he took him out with a lovely shot as well. He lined up the shot ahead of the target, picked his moment and then fired just as the guy went through the aim point and bang, the shell went straight into his side and he was out the game. So it was a lovely leading shot. 12 enemy vehicles were damaged, three were killed. So that's a nine difference to get that Confederate. 736 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 74,270 credits from the game, 50,000 for completing a mission, 124,270 altogether. And after ammunition resupply, and even though he fired a lot of heat rounds in that game, he still came out with a 96,174 credit profit, 230, uh, 2,035 base XP, or, or XP rather, times two for the first victory, 814 for this being a premium vehicle and took away 4,885 experience points altogether. That was a really good, really good um, ace tanker in the Fifi. And it's not often you see a first ace to tank, tanker game, which is that good. So very well done indeed. A difficult map to play an RT on. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.